Welcome to SwarmOS Analyzer. On the first video we provided tips and tricks how to handle SwarmOS Analyzer from a menu perspective. On this video we would like to give you a few hints on the most powerful features we have in SwarmOS Analyzer. What you can see here is uh, the network of a number of um, issues across different projects which you can choose uh, from the project menu if you want to look at one project only. And the most powerful feature um, we provide to you is that you can actually detect critical chains in your project. By hovering over the different nodes you can see the uh, stories behind. Um, for example, this is a closed story and you can see the assignees, the reportees, the story points, the sprints it was handled. And the edges over here have different color codes and all red edges are actually the ones which are blocking another user story away. Uh, you can obviously see that this is a complex network and you have multiple dependencies where user stories are blocked by other user stories, which is super important for your sprint planning. By choosing the link types and selecting blocks, you can narrow down your network to the user stories which are blocking each other away, which are actually the critical chains of your project. You can see um, by color coding your network on the right hand menu, for example by status, which are the open ones, which are the closed ones and so on and so forth. Obviously we closed a lot of our stories because there are only a few blue open ones left over. But if you're at the start of your project, for example, you need to take care of this um, supercritical chain with a lot of dependencies and manage them across all of your sprints to actually release a product, uh, which is Analyzer in this case, on time to market. What you can do as well is you can change another color coding, for example, for projects. With this powerful feature, you can see the dependencies of user stories between projects. Obviously, there's a blue project over here, which is the development project, and there's another project, which is a green project, which is a marketing project. And there are critical chains, which between the projects, which have obviously to do with releasing the product to market, which requires a couple of marketing actions and a couple of development actions to be completed. So this is a powerful feature to see how your projects interact and what are the critical paths and dependencies within your projects. A second important and powerful feature is if you choose the link type assigned to. The link type assigned to, you need to switch on the people view as well, allows you to show all of your team members and the user stories they have been assigned with. You obviously don't want to look into the user stories which have been completed, which is quite a couple as you can see if you color the network uh, this way that you see the open stories are here and the closed stories are over here. But you can narrow them down further by selecting the view uh, on the status and say, I only want to look into reopened stories, uh, the stories which are opened, which are in progress, to see which work is left over. But even then, I can see that a couple of users have a significant proportion of the user stories. So if I hover over, uh, for example, in this case, Pascal has 267 uh, stories assigned to her and 127 aggregated story points open. So this is quite intense while other people have only a few user stories left open as you can see over here like Tim has one user stories to work at. So we can balance our network, see the most critical resources in our teams across all of the company and all of the projects to manage them accordingly. So this is a pretty powerful feature. Another very powerful filter on using Analyzer is the Epic View, which actually allows you to look into your epics and uh, where you are on the completed um, stories accordingly to the epics you have chosen. By selecting the link type Epic, you basically get all of your stories grouped by the epics you have defined. You can color code the network again by the status and you can see that you have certain epics in the middle where you have a lot of stories and open. The size of the bubble indicates the story points as you know, uh, so you can hover over and see that this epic, which is one of our um, test projects, which is a climbing a mountain, uh, has a number of story points um, open 
um, in total 245 and there are big items to be resolved uh, to complete this epic. Or you can look over here where you see that we want to launch a server version um, of uh, Cockpit and Foundation which has 144 story points left to be completed to actually make this happen. You can color code this in different ways um, by issue type and so on and so forth but it gives you a pretty powerful view and where you are on the completion of your epic and which epic potentially needs your attention or which minor thing need to be resolved to close an epic really down. One of the other important features, as you can choose coloring down here as well from the other menu, you can choose a ring color. If you have any escalations in your projects, they will be ring colored with red um, uh, colors. Um, this allows you to detect immediately where your teams have been escalating user stories to you to remove an impediment. So by double clicking on the certain item, you can actually go to the action menu and move from here immediately down to Jira and uh, look at the uh, single Jira user story and act upon. Uh, so the interaction in Analyzer is just one click away uh, from the network view where you detect all of your critical information. To analyze the network, visualize the network and actually lead from here, we would be very keen on getting your feedback uh, to improve the product further. So please reach out to us to swarmos.com. Thank you so much. Agile Business Execution, simplified by Swarm OS.